What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today, we're diving into Rocket, the world's first vibe solutioning tool. Imagine typing one sentence and receiving a complete, fully functional app. No coding, no stitching together templates, no messing around with backend logic. Rocket does it all in one shot. Now, this isn't a simple landing page builder or starter kit. It's a full stack team in your browser. All right, let me show you how this works. Just head on over to rocket.new. Let's go ahead and sign up and sign in at the very top. Let's continue with Google. All right, first things first. So just think about what you might want to build, maybe a landing page, mobile application, maybe a dashboard, SaaS platform, whatever you're going for. Then just type out your prompt and hit generate. And Rocket is going to handle everything, the design, the logic, the backend, and the integrations, delivering a production ready app in minutes. All right, now we are going to do just that for this first demo. So here is my idea. I want to build a personal portfolio website. I want to go with a minimal aesthetic, integrated contact form, optimized for SEO. I wanna highlight my projects visually with hover animations and a one-click publishing and shareable preview link. Let's go ahead and punch this in. All right, now right away, Rocket is gonna go ahead and respond in the left-hand chat box. And it's gonna ask a few specific questions along the way just to really iron out what we're going for here. Here we go. Here is our brand new landing page. Let's have a quick look here. Why don't we go ahead and click on the full screen button right here. And then let's have a quick scroll through. So here's our header, transform your brand story into compelling visual content that drives results. We can click on book free consultations, view portfolio. Then we've got a mix of social proof and results. Let's scroll down, have a nice contrast section. So the problem with generic video content, let's keep scrolling. We've got three pillars of success creative storytelling, technical expertise, reliable delivery. Now the UI especially shows off in this part. I love these subtle icons. And then when I hover my mouse over, we've got the nice yellow border. And then we've got featured projects as well. Let's just hover our mouse over and we've got some nice hovering animations. When we click on the images, this looks very clean, very professional. Let's keep this going. And we can filter through the exact services that we're doing as well. So we've got promotional videos. We can click on social media content as well well, and then some nicely formatted copy to go along with it. And then here is our testimonial section as well. This is all looking extremely clean. Then we have the meet your video creator section. Of course, this is where we'd show off ourselves. This is all looking great. We've have a few hyperlinks as well. FAQ section. And then we have the all important form section where customers can enter in their information and their specific needs. And we can set this up on the back end or either book a free call and we can take care of any leads coming in. All right, this is a looking great. Let's go ahead and minimize this for now. Now, if I'd like to make any edits, I can come on over to the chat box and just ask away. Or if I'd like, I can come over to the top right and click on the select to edit button right here. And I can hover my mouse over specific pieces that I want to edit in real time. So this is going to be the exact type of use case for freelancers and creators who want a clean site or landing page without touching a single line of code. All right, now for this next one, I want to create a mobile app with Rocket. So here's my idea. I'm going to go ahead and pop it in right here. I want to build a travel journal application. I want this app to feature a timeline of trips, the ability to add entries with photos, notes, and a location on a map. Let's go ahead and punch this in. And I'm just going to go ahead and specify that, yes, indeed, I want a mobile app. Let's go ahead and click confirm. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at our travel app. And right away, it is looking super clean. Let's go ahead and blow this up like this. Hit full screen. So we've got a nice clean dashboard. And I can scroll through some past and current trips. If I click right here, I get more of a cell view. Let's do that. And look at that. We've got all these past and current trips. Let's click on this one in Greece. Once I do that, I can see all the photos that I would have submitted into this trip. So let's click right here and we can scroll through a few of these. So these are looking awesome. Great shot right there. Another great shot. Let's come over to the top left and click on the X and let's hit back in the top left. We also have a camera option at the very top. Let's click that. I can open up the camera interface. I can also come on over to the profile and I can update my profile. Let's come back over to the dashboard. Now, another feature that I requested was the ability to add new entries. So let's come on over to the very bottom and click on new trip. And here we go. I can go ahead and fill all the details out to enter in another 
trip. I just got to fill this all out. If I click right here in destination, it's actually going to go ahead and pop up some previous destinations, maybe that we were already on. So let's go ahead and close this. And as I mentioned, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and fill all these details out. So right away, this is looking extremely useful. I'm just going to go ahead and exit the full screen. If I wanted to make any revisions, I could easily do that by just typing into the chat what I want. So let's click right here. So here's a simple one. Make the background darker, not white. Let's go ahead and submit. All right, and just like that, we have a darker UI backdrop for our mobile app. Let's just come on over here and scroll through the app one last time. This is looking super, super clean. Another feature that I thought was really cool was this drop down at the top right here. So as you can see, it's on the iPhone 14 Pro. Let's click on the Samsung Galaxy. All right, so when we do that, the physical phone is going to change to that specific model. So just a fun little feature. Let's come on over to the iPhone SE and you can see the iPhone SE as well, just to give us a well-rounded idea of how it's gonna look like on different phones. All right, for the last one, I wanna focus on full stack capability that includes seamless third-party integration. So here's what I'm thinking for this one. I wanna create an e-commerce admin dashboard, which is gonna include the ability to manage products, track orders, and monitor revenue, built-in Stripe integration for payments, and for the app to be fully responsive and analytics ready. Let's go ahead and punch this one in. All right, so here is our e-com dashboard. So right away, I'm just gonna come over to the very top and click on the full screen button. Let's do that. All right, let's have a look at this thing. So we've got operations command center, real-time operational monitoring and control dashboard. Then we've got a bunch of KPIs and stats. Let's keep scrolling down here. We've got order pipeline order volume and performance with a nice bar graph as well. And I love the overlay here. It is super clean overlay of the details. Let's keep going down. We've got an inventory alerts section as well, which gives us an overview of our inventory and the status of that. Real-time orders that we can actually go ahead and search right here. This dashboard also has a bunch of different pages as well. So let's click on revenue right here. Here is our revenue analytics hub. Let's scroll down. We've got the ability to filter at the very top through region, currency, and the date range, total revenue, growth rate, average order value. And then we have some extremely clean visuals as well. So we've got a bar graph, a pie chart over here. And if we hover our mouse over these sections, we have a little breakdown with a clean overlay. We have our top products at the bottom here. So really everything is in here ready to go. Let's come over to customers. We've got a customer insights portal with all of the relevant stats that you're ever going to need paired with a clean hovering feature. This also has a purple glowing border just to give it that nice aesthetic. Now at any point in time, you can come over to the top and click on preview code or integrations. Integrations is where you're gonna come when you wanna set up all the third-party integration on the back end. For example, if you wanna go ahead and set up Stripe so you can start accepting payments, you can click right here. And this is where you'd enter in your secret keys for the integration process. Along with integration, when you're ready to go ahead and launch, you can click at the top right, click on launch. So we can either launch on web or we can launch on a custom domain. Let's go ahead and click on launch on web for now. Let's copy our link right here. And then here is our website live, ready to go. All right, now the best part about all of this is that Rocket is free to start. So just head on over to rocket.new and vibe code your first app today and be sure to tag at rocket.new when you share your build. Now, if you do that, you never know, your app could be the next one that Rocket features. So be sure to give Rocket a try today. Good luck and have fun with your creations.